Hey guys, I am Boxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2, and one of you guys in the comment section asked me to use uh, the Terran Empire Annex class, which is right here, and uh, it is the Enterprise. He also asked for the Confederation class, which is actually uh, the Imperious class, because they don't have a Confederation class. And you also asked for the uh, Atlantis refit or I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, the Atlantis refit for the NX class. We have one of those also. And you wanted us to use uh, these ships in the Enterprise era fighting against the Federation. So that is exactly what we are doing. Uh, sadly, I only have 700 command points left. And I have the maximum amount of command points given to me, which was uh, 8,000. And I, I, can't, I can't buy anything else. So I guess we're just going to have three ships. There are no respawns. If I engage here, you'll see we are fighting the... Federation, one of them is on hard AI, and we are at a new map called Trade uh, Routes, or Roots, however you want to pronounce it, and I've never uh, been in this map before, so I have no idea what it has to offer. Hopefully it's nothing too laggy, that's my only real concern, or there's no Jem'Hadar ships uh, waiting to attack us like they did the last time we used the Terran Empire uh, versus the Federation. So, uh, let's hit engage here and see just what the heck happens. All right, so this map looks very barren. Oh, and there's weapons platforms that will shoot at us. Okay, that's nice. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a okay. It's a freighter. And this is the Imperious class. Looks a lot like the Constitution class. There's a nebula that wasn't there before. Okay, I guess we're shooting this thing first. But our main whoa, okay. Our main goal here is to shoot Federation. That nebula over there doesn't know whether it wants to stay or go. Okay, here's the Federation ships. I notice they have no shields, but uh, two of my ships do have shields, so that's pretty cool. So the Terran Empire is a little bit farther ahead so far as uh, shielding technology goes. I was trying to get a torpedo lock there, but that did not uh, happen. Looks like they're shooting at my regular Terran NX class. Which does not have shields. Okay. There we go. All three torpedoes locked on. Hey, the nebula's back. Four torpedoes locked on. And not much damage done, but there are things breaking off. This ship is really neat looking. This Imperius class. Although, in a way, it looks more futuristic than the uh, Constitution class, which makes sense. I mean, because this is supposed to be. Like, similar to the uh, Star Trek Enterprise series and their style of doing things look, looked, uh... Ooh, their nacelle uh, fell off. But yeah, their, sty their style of ships uh, looks a lot more futuristic than the original uh, series. Because, of course, the original series was made uh, in the 60s and, you know, they didn't have quite as good um, ideas of what the future would be so far as ship design as the later series did. Okay... There's a Poseidon class, which looks like an early Miranda class. Pretty sure that's what uh, that eventually turns into. We are winning. Let's switch to the Atlantis refit here, because I feel that uh, it's a really cool ship. Look at that. It has like a main hull-ish type thing, although I guess the saucer is the main hull. But it has a thing with a deflector dish on it, and that's, that's pretty cool. Looks like it also has a, has a uh, shuttle bay attached to it. Okay, there's... A discovery refit for the NX class. So, uh, let's have that thing catch up on fire. If we can. Yep, there we go. That's the death and destruction I want to see. And these torpedoes sound really cool and they go uh, fairly quickly. Uh, shields are still up on both of my ships. And we are fighting the AI hard guys here. But, uh,. It really comes down to shields or no shields so far as who's going to win this, I think. I have shields, and they do not. I think we're going to be powerful enough to uh, take them down. Come on, let's switch around the other way. This thing is kind of sluggish with the whole maneuverability thing. Then again, it's not a nimble shuttlecraft. It's a full-sized uh, starship, so that's to be expected. Torpedoes are hitting our shields. Hearing things breaking up, I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, it's back there. Oh, another uh, trade ship just uh, exploded. That's fun. 
I want to get one more good hit, then I'm going to switch to the regular NX class. There we go. Okay, regular NX class. This is not regular NX class. This is uh, Imperius. Here's the regular NX class. Okay, I thought that thing looked uh, kind of weird. Okay, looks like we're shooting this guy. The Lumeria. Oh, wow. It has... Oh, wow. Okay, it has weird pulse phasery things. Those are actually really cool. I did not know it had those. Good old Terran Empire technology. One step ahead of the Federation. Although this ship does not have shield sandy, but wow, look at those. Those are, those are like a Klingon or Romulan disruptors. Okay, let's open fire with the torpedoes. Because those will help us in destroying them. If I could get a good phaser lock, that would also uh, help a lot. Ow. 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 Something is shooting me from behind. Oh, it's that thing. It's a... Uh, oh! So the Confederation class does have shields on the side of the Federation. Okay. Okay, let's switch back to our Confederation class. Let's, uh... Okay, so this thing is even closer to uh, the Constitution class than the other Federation ships, because this thing not only looks like a Constitution ship, sorry, I'm having issues speaking for some random reason, but it also has shields like a uh, Constitution class ship. And I don't think any of the other uh, Federation vessels here have that. We are about to lose our uh, regular NX class, and my shields are down. This is actually uh, really, really bad. Uh, let's let's distract them a bit. And we just lost our regular NX class. But we did take down their shields. So that's a good thing. And we have torpedoes chasing after them. That's a lot of wreckage around here, just floating around. Something exploded over there, that probably actually is my ship that exploded right there. There we go. Yes, take that. No, don't try to take out my shields, you can't do it. Oh, and we just uh, clipped them a little bit. But I don't believe that ramming is an actual thing. Okay, let's turn a little bit. Shields are back up on my uh, Imperius class, which is a good thing. They have sustained some heavy damage. Uh, nope, there we go. There we go. There we go. Back to the Imperius. Okay. Weapons are kind of half dead. So that's not good. Seems like uh, I just got hit by some pulse phases. That's what power to the uh, shields here, because I feel that, yeah, that's, you know, never mind. Put it to the weapons. Shields are down. Who needs shields? Ha. Uh, oh boy. You know, even though the uh, Terran Empire might be ahead of the Federation in terms of technology, these AI hardships are uh, defeating our fleet. Yeah, it's just it's just our two ships versus um, pretty much all of their ships. So they already defeated our allies somehow, and so it's just us facing off against them. Oh, I thought their nacelle was going to snap off there. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, looks like our Imperius class has seen better days, that's for sure. Maybe I should, uh... I'm not going to be taken out by a Minuteman class. Actually, yeah, I, I, I probably am. I can't seem to turn. I have no weapons anymore. Um, hmm... Let's switch to this. Actually, let's switch to this guy. Please distract him. There we go. We distracted him. Was that really a good thing, though? Okay, we have lost our Imperius class. I'm working out of here. Okay, we do have that weird sound glitch right now where stuff seems to be uh, stuck on, but... Eh... Yeah, I, I don't see us uh, winning here, folks. This seems like a complete loss, so therefore, might as well charge in uh, guns blazing, right? That's, that, that's the logical thing. What's the nearest thing to shoot? Okay, let's shoot at you. Let's warp. There we go, that should take him out. Yes, beautiful torpedo kill there and warp away again. 
Oh, that was fantastic. He yeah, just warped in there, shot him, and got out, and he is quite dead. So uh, that's probably the last ship I'm going to destroy, actually, because I don't see myself uh, taking anything out before I, I am dead. But I can try. I, I can try. I, I, I can also fail, but I can definitely try. Oh, good thing those hit before their shields went back up. But, uh, yeah, their shields are going to go back up any second. I can't do anything about that. Unless I take out their shields, and I can't do that. My engines are sluggish, yeah. And there we go, there's those shields I didn't want to go back up, that are now back up. And let's uh, brace for impact. I cannot outturn this guy. Oh boy, discovery class. It's taking me down. Okay, let's turn. I want to get a few more torpedo shots off, maybe, before things go really, really badly. And their shields are down again. You just can't keep those up. There we go. Yeah, this ship is definitely one of the more durable uh, Enterprise era ships. Okay. Turning in slow motion once again. Um, yeah, we're, we're more or less drifting. Yeah, take that. And then let's lock on to you. Take that. And now we straightened out for some reason, okay? Come on. I want to shoot something. That was a pretty good hit. Can I get my shields back up? Probably not. But hey, you never know. Um, oh, whoa, oh, my engines just uh, stopped engining. Help! Oh, there we go, that, uh, yep, we are, we are dead. And so is everyone aboard. Pretty, pretty cool explosion, though, and everyone's warping away. They don't even want to watch the explosion. How could they? Alright, so that took 11 minutes exactly for us to lose to the Federation, and I really was not expecting that, but it seems that hard AI Federation are just tough to kill. Now, um, their allies, I'm assuming, yeah, these are the AI medium guys, they only got one kill, whereas the hard AI guys got five, and we got two and our allies got two. I didn't even see our allied ships, I, I just knew they existed, but I didn't actually ever see them, and they were destroyed pretty... Uh, quickly, they got zero uh, command points, which is better than me since I got negative 37. Um, yeah, we did get two kills, like I said. So yeah, we did put up a good defense, especially that Atlantis refit for the NX Cruiser. That thing did really well. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle. And if you guys did, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, if you guys did not like this video, I do apologize for that. Please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that hopefully you guys can enjoy them. And as always, if you guys want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about that. I will read those and I'll do my best to use those ideas in my future videos. I have so many suggestions uh, going in, it's really hard to make videos on them all, so I may end up skipping a few. Um, that I, I can't do, which, because there, there are some of them that I, I'm unable to do that you guys suggest. The majority of them I can do and I will do, it just takes a while getting them out, so if you send something to me, it might take a week or even two weeks for it to show up, I really don't know, because right now a lot of people are asking for stuff, and that's completely fine, I mean, uh, it takes less work off of my brain to figure out what to do if you guys want to actually see something. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about that, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time.